Hey everyone, welcome to another MLM shit show. And today we're back to take a look at what exactly happened at the Zaya Summit this year. It just passed last weekend um, when I'm recording this, so there's not that many things yet out that I found. What kind of a sentence was that? I found a few good bits that I thought were interesting. I was also sent this story um, from a former Zaya rep. That was actually the whole reason why I wanted to make this video. Obviously the summit just happened and there's a big hype around it. They're gonna use the summit as something to attract the people with as look. We have all these free trips from the company. So I wanted to share this story from a former rep with just how much money she actually lost with Zaya to kind of help spread awareness since this whole hype is going around. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to support me and let's just put a little disclaimer in here and let's get into this shit show. Also, I do have a whole Zaya playlist. I think I have 15 videos or something on them there. A lot of former reps came to me and shared their stories with me. Um, because we don't have an income disclosure statement yet from Zaya, please, I do encourage you to take a look at all of these. Well, not all of the videos. There's one video where I debunked the founder's call from Zaya, where I included all of the stories that I had received up to that point, which shows the pattern of a lot of people well, being vulnerable and recruited while they were being vulnerable with false promises of income, the usual things like that, but also a lot of them shared just how much they fell into debt with Zaya. Just wanted to put that out there, but yeah. So let's start off with the story first, because I think that's the most important thing in this whole video. Um, so she said, I shared a bit of my story before and wanted to share a memory from my Zaya experience that is kind of embarrassing, but looking back, I find it pretty funny. To recap, I was a Zaya rep for almost two years. Contrary to what the top reps who got in early say, I worked very hard and still could not get anywhere and came out with a huge loss, over $10,000. $10,000 in two years she lost with her Zaya biz, which is insane, especially for the fact that they like to say, oh, this is risk-free. The worst that can happen is you're gonna have a lot of active wear. It's like, no, this is the worst that can happen. I remember my upline, several top reps actually, encouraging us to try and run pop-up events at a local gym and stuff like that. They talked like it was a sure way to grow our biz and help rank our way up within the company. I was hesitant for the longest time, but my ladies made me believe that I could do it if I stepped out of my comfort zone. Another big thing that they encourage people, the only way to be successful is to step out of your comfort zone. Yes, while I agree that it's a good thing to step out of your comfort zone, you, but you don't have to be uncomfortable every single day to find success. While a rep, I mostly focused on building and engaging with my own VIP customer group on Facebook, as we were taught to do, but after months of not seeing much interest or growth, no matter how hard I tried, I finally decided to try and run a pop-up event at my nearby gym. Just thinking about this makes me super anxious, by the way. I walked into the gym and talked to the person on the desk, who was very nice and very politely asked me to wait to speak to the manager, who was also very nice. Looking back, I can tell that they are used to being approached by these kind of reps because he came right out and said very politely, we welcome companies to come showcase their products, but we have very strict policies and it's important that our clients are not bothered with being recruited and rightly so. <laughs> it was like he knew what kind of company I was with without really needing to know the company. As reps, we must smell of the desperation. Anyway, I think I was almost self-aware enough to recognize that there was no way I was going to be doing that, but I was still in denial. I was just self-aware enough to not try and set up a pop-up event like that, but in denial for months afterwards, and I continued working the biz with social media because they taught us that it it would pay off eventually if we just kept at it. And of course it did not. And I'm really, really sorry. Losing that much money and not even just money, the time and effort that you lost while being those two years in Zaya is just, it's incredibly sad and I'm really sorry, but you know that I'm grateful for you sharing your story and helping me raise awareness about Zaya. It was so stupid, but as I recalled it today, it made me laugh, which is a good sign that I am healing and that's correct. 
And then I said something about the amount of money that she lost and how crazy that is. And she said, yeah, the amount is insane. And it took me a while to reconcile that. As you know, with new releases every single week and constantly being encouraged to be a product of the product and shopping retail to earn these hostess rewards and squeezing in purchases at retail to hit certain bonuses, it didn't take long to add up. So this is something that's very important as well. We had multiple reps come out and say that they are indeed being encouraged to shop at retail prices so that they reach certain bonuses. But before they recruit you, while they're trying to sell you this opportunity and this biz, they're going to say, well, if you don't want to work the biz, at least join for the discount. And then if you join for the discount, they're eventually going to try to recruit you into the biz. And then they're going to tell you, well, don't actually use your discount because you can get this bonus if you shop at retail prices. And again, this story just proves it's a lot easier to stack up a debt if you buy at retail prices. It's very high to reach the bonus as well. And we're gonna, this is the next video that's kind of nicely linked to the bonus part of the things. So let's just take a listen. Hey, I wanted to just give a quick update on some incredible things that are going on inside the company right now. As you know, we are coming to a close. We have about 10 hours left uh, on the first 10 day incentive. It's turning out to be 12 days because of a little bit of a challenge we threw your way on Wednesday. And this is, this is our way of saying, hey, we wanted to give you guys a chance to qualify. Um, you got 10, 10 hours left. First and foremost, the one by 1000 gets you an opportunity to earn an extra $1,000 um, in three months, right? You're gonna be eligible for the $200 bonus, but today, if you close it out and you have one enrollment and 1000 in PV, you have an opportunity or what you automatically earn three incredible items. We've shared them before. Make sure you get, find out exactly what it is. It's a, a weekender bag. It's a, some summer shorts, amazing stuff. So make sure that you get in there and look and see exactly what it is that you are leaving on the table. Um, if you don't close this out tonight. Now, if you don't close it out tonight, you're still eligible for that $200 bonus, but we want to give away as many of those three items as we possibly can today. We are doing an incredible job of setting up your month. Um, this is this is almost a guarantee for a really good close to this month. So take advantage of this opportunity right now. One of the biggest reasons that we are doing these things during this period of time, you've probably recognized some significant growth this month already in your business. One of the main reasons that we do this is to help create engagement at the right time. Going into that summit period of time, this is where we want to create that engagement with our teams. We want to make sure that we are getting our list put together, that we're reaching out, that we're connecting with our VIP pages, connecting with our teams, making sure that they know everything that's going on in our business. Because as you know, every time we have a summit event, really great things come from that event. And, and yes. Okay. So this was a little hype stunt that they did before the summit. First of all, in my opinion, it was just to hype people up for the summit and be like, look, we're so great. We're going to give you a bonus and we're going to give you three products. If you recruit someone and what did he say? If you have a 1000 PV, which again, that's a lot of money. That's still a very high threshold, um, but whatever. And this is kind of indirectly also an incentive for recruitment, which was shared. She said, so you're not actually getting direct incentives for recruitment. However, she did say they're going to pull out stunts like this. They do this often enough, not just before the summit from what she told me, where they're indirectly awarding you for recruiting one more person, just one more person if you recruit. And if you get this much of PV, you're going to get this, but it's still indirectly paying pe people for recruitment. But yeah, that's in my opinion, a sneaky way to encourage people to recruit. This year is going to be no different. So again, the three items are available for anybody who closes out by midnight tonight, Pacific Standard Time. One enrollment, 1,000 of PV. If I screw up, I'm sure that, that uh, Lindsay or Taylor, somebody's going to come on here and make sure that they type everything to, to give you all the details of, if I did miss anything here. But um, again, we want to make sure that you lock up that $200 bonus and get those three free items. It puts you into a great spot to be in that 3 by 24 2500 bonus. Here's what's at stake for you today. Number one, it, put, it guarantees that opportunity to go and earn that $1,600 of extra income in bonus money over the course of these next three months. 
That's the first thing. It also sets you up. You're in line to do that three by 2,500, which is an additional like $7,500 of additional income over those three months. So big day today, um, a lot going on. Reach out to your people, get those lists put together. 10 hours is a lot of time to close out some serious business. Looking at the numbers, we are overjoyed and thrilled with the number of people who have already accomplished this goal. Monday or Tuesday, sometime early next week, you're gonna see a list on this page and on our other outlets, you're gonna see a page, your name needs to be on that list. We're gonna publish every person's name that is qualified for the one by 1,000 during the first 12 days of the month, um, and uh, we wanna see your name on that list. Um, later today, uh, we have the Summer to Shine over on Facebook. That's gonna happen in about an hour and a half or four Mountain Standard Time. Tune in, hear from Lisa Wyman from Canada. Talk about uplifting people and, and that pillar of our business. So make sure you take advantage of that. Um, and then again, guys, this is, uh, you got a lot of time left, honestly. This is, if you haven't even started yet, now is a great time to start getting through those lists, reaching out to those people, sharing a product here or there, talking about the business. This is a great time to create the energy and the engagement that you need going into Summit. We all know that the teams who create the most engagement, not necessarily just the numbers, but those who create good positive engagement going into Summit usually are those people that we talk about the most over the following 90 days. I want you to be one of those people. You need to make that decision for yourself. So yeah, recognition is a big thing in MLMs. You do this and we're going to make you feel so special. We're going to do this and that. But like, let's look at it realistically. Like, I know in their heads, in the distributor head, it would make sense. Oh my God, my name's going to be there and I'm going to get recognized. It's like, but what else do you get from that? And also, again, 1000 PV is a very high number. I don't think it's as easy as he makes it sound to accomplish that. Next video that I got was they were promoting their last year's summit before the new this year's summit, right? So last year to the Dominican Republic. So let's let's take a look at the video. I'm only gonna include the 30 seconds of it because the, the video is like four minutes long but it's like oh look at us we're having so much fun it's so nice it's a paid trip but it's not fully paid trip maybe for the top one percent but definitely not for most people in the company and next one is a little clip from this year's summit hey, with anything are we live all right you guys we are live over here on the Zaya family page we're gonna do some giveaways and if you have screaming and shouting right a lot of excitement to win free stuff but again it's like how much activewear do you actually need and this is coming from someone who like i was really happy when i got ambassadorship with riderwear because riderwear has other things it's not just activewear they have a bigger range of stuff and i can get something else something other than activewear every month but also i'm getting something from them every single month so this is like you have to buy every single week well you don't have to buy when they want you to join them or they're trying to recruit you they're usually gonna say 
you can join for the discount. I know we put out new releases every Wednesday, but you don't have to buy every Wednesday. But then when you finally join, like the rep said, the former rep confirmed, they are going to try and encourage you to be the product of the product. And having new releases every single week is way too often. First of all, quality wise, I doubt that you can produce the same quality every single Wednesday. Second of all, their prices are high. It's, it's very expensive. And again, most reps are being encouraged to shop at retail, not with the discount. So you can easily see how easy it is to stack up a debt of $10,000 in two years. Oh, we want this for you. Look at us. We're giving you free stuff. You're giving them a few free bits, but how much money are they actually spending on your stuff every single week? It is just infuriating. But anyways, this is uh, Zaya Summit 2022. Okay, I don't think it's like the same stuff over and over again. This was kind of like a more fancy summit. Also, that brings me to the point. If you are a former Zaya rep who's watching this, and if you ever went to a summit, I would really appreciate if you could maybe anonymously, if you want, of course, um, send me some more details. What exactly was paid for you? What did you have to finance yourself? Were you encouraged to buy like really expensive attire? Like all of the dresses and the suits that that these people are wearing looked very expensive to me. I mean, I don't know anything about high fashion and fancy stuff, but it looked like a nice, a lot of nice clothes, nice dresses that obviously cost a lot. Um, but yeah, I would really like to hear more about was anything covered? Was any expense covered in the trip that you took with Zaya? Um, because this is something that we did not get a lot of information on and it would be really helpful. So please email me if you are a former rep that ever went to one of their summits. Then next one is a picture of a woman and the caption says she is my hero. She left her country, her family and her language to come marry this gringo. She's stronger than I could ever hope to be and she does it all while being the hottest thing on earth. Happy birthday to my Mexican queen. So I believe this is one of the founders and yeah like of course you're very happy because you're successful but you are successful. Why? Because you have an unethical business in my own opinion. So I would like to see an income disclosure statement. Like I'm really, really hoping that one day we're going to be able to take a look at the numbers and percentages. Oh, what happened to my voice there? And percentages of how many people are actually earning little to no money annually. Also, I would really love to have an income disclosure statement so that I can put the numbers and percentages on my statements. But I feel like all the former reps coming out to me and sharing their stories is really, really very helpful. And I would also love if you are a creator and if you're watching this video, I would really love if you made a video on Zaya. You don't have to mention me. I'm the one who makes videos on them and I haven't seen, I've seen Hannah make a video on them. Their reps are really problematic and what they're doing to distributors, like I said, trying to get them to buy on retail prices to get the bonuses. Obviously they earn more money as well. Um, so it's just, it's just a lot of shady stuff going on in Zaya. And like I said, if you're a creator, I would love to see you make a video on Zaya as well. And maybe, just maybe that will create enough pressure for the company to finally give us an income disclosure statement so that we can, like I said, attach numbers and percentages to our statements and to the stories that these reps share. But yeah, I'm really grateful that I got all the stories that I got so far um, because it does really, even though we don't have an income disclosure statement, it's easier for me to debunk 
some of the statements that they make by sharing what other people went through and this is not a few there there's so many reps so it's not like oh it was one person who had bad experience no there's i don't know how many of them but there's a lot of them it's really hard for me to speak today i don't know what's going on i know what's going on it's early and i'm hungry but anyways to wrap this up let's just read a caption that they wrote for 2022 rap video that we just watched somehow this event gets better and better every year the community learning and energy of the weekend was out of this world we love you all zaya family thank you for making all of this possible already can't wait until next year one of the biggest things we can share to remind everyone of what this weekend was all about is this poem shared to us by one of the top reps and oh my god this is one of the most cultish things I've ever seen so let's read it buckle up rise sister rise when your plans and schemes and your hopes and dreams beg for you to let them go rise sister rise when the life you have so consciously created comes crumbling down rise sister rise when your soul is heavy and your heart broken in two rise sister rise when you gave it your best and it wasn't quite enough rise sister rise keep hustling that's not a part of the poem when you've been beating and defeated and feel so far away from home rise sister rise when you find yourself in a thousand pieces with no idea which bit goes where rise sister rise when you have loved and lost and then lost again rise sister rise when your wings have been clipped spirit dampened and all you hear is a whisper rise sister rise when you finally beg mercy to your calling but have no idea where to start rise sister rise rise for you and rise for me for what you rise first you make the path brighter for she first of all you're not sisters you're not family and if a stranger or co-worker calls you family ever i would say run to the hills because that's weird that's cultish okay i've never heard a normal employer call me family or any other employees we're not family we're co-workers we also earn the money by being in this company so you are in this company you're being encouraged to keep hustling when it's not working out for you and when you're feeling down because most of the people in the company are not getting anywhere are not earning any money and are feeling down because no matter how hard they work nothing's changing it's not getting better but then you have a few of the tp top reps who were lucky enough to join early and be successful in this biz um who are there to be like rise sister you're gonna get there no you're not 90 percent of people fail in multi-level marketing companies again there's no income disclosure statement for this company which is again a very big red flag considering they've been around since 2016 or 17 so they're not a young company anymore they could very well put out an income disclosure statement but they refuse to and i have a hunch of why they don't want these kind of details out there available to public but anyways we're gonna wrap that up here i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far send me any of your experiences with zaya and if you've ever been on a summit like i said i would really appreciate if we could get a more info from someone who's been there um just how much money you spent on the summit what was paid by the company and what wasn't stuff like that i would really appreciate it and yeah don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to support me and i will hopefully see you in the next one bye